Hello and welcome! In today's video, we will learn how to do a hammer-on and a slide. You can use it on songs like Pink Panther, but you can also just use it on your strumming. It sounds really pretty, um, and today we're just going to work on how to do it. So first, start off with a tuned ukulele because that helps to train your ear. And even if it sounds in tune, it might have all gone out of tune together. So it's in tune with itself, but it might be out of tune. So I like using um, a clip-on tuner because those are based on vibration. So it doesn't matter if you're in a loud room, but you can use an up, you can use your ear, just tune. Okay, so we're gonna go to the fourth fret of string A or your first string. I'd like for you to pick on that note and now with your middle finger, so the fourth fret you should be playing with the index, with your middle finger, bring it down with some speed and some force and you should get a much softer note. And it is a lot more gentle, but it should be there. And really the more speed you add to it or the more force, the more sound you'll get out of it. Does it hurt? Yes, <laughs> it does hurt a little bit. And if you have um, calluses, it's helpful. So if you're more of a beginner, um, this is a little bit more challenging if you haven't built any calluses. I like to pick a note and then add. And you can try it on the next string over on the fourth and fifth frets too. And then another one over. And I'm gonna high G right now. And it's just a really good exercise. Oh, something um, that some mistakes that I've seen with hammer-ons is that some people lift off the index like they do a finger switch. So don't do a finger switch, do a finger add. So think index and add, index and add, index and add, index and add, always adding. Now let's try out the sliding technique. And the slides always make me think of my, my dog is approaching by the way, you think you can hear it, <laughs> so loud. So whenever I do a slide, I always think of Madeline. Madeline is a Patreon member and whenever we have a hammer on, Maddie likes to switch it up and add a slide. And sometimes a slide sounds better and cleaner and it's easier to do. That's why I didn't start with that because I didn't want you to click away from the lesson so fast. So a slide, you can start with your middle finger or your index finger on that fourth fret. You're gonna pick and slide up. Just slide over one fret. And usually the fret wire stops me from going too far. My finger is feeling sore now. <laughs> but this is a really great way to get the sound to work. And it might be more satisfying than a hammer-on. So you, you have there your hammer-on, your slide. Um, so let's try the first few notes of Pink Panther. This is a song that I taught on the Patreon class, um, but we can learn just the first four notes of the melody. So go to the first fret of C string and hammer on to the second fret. <laughs> now add a ring finger for the third fret and slide that up to the fourth. And that gives you the, that nice little move. So again, index to middle, ring to <laughs> slide. Now my cat's crying. <laughs> Maybe this is why I don't film outside. Okay, so let's try it. Index middle, ring and slide. Okay, so now you're in position to do an E minor chord. <laughs> and that's like your first little moment with Pink Panther. Pretty cool, right? So if you try out these hammer-ons and slides, please let me know in the comments below, or you can tag me on Instagram, put it in your stories so that I can watch and share. That would be really cool to see. In today's video, I've been playing the CK60 CG ukulele from Ohana. I'm gonna link it down below. When you buy from my shop, Euclandia, it supports the channel. But honestly, the best way to support the channel is by watching these videos, leaving comments, sharing it on any platform that you can share it on, all of that helps the channel out a lot. So yeah, let me know how, if you like the hammer on or the slide better. 
Are you team burn with the hammer-ons or team Maddie? <laughs> Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!